Well, with warmer temperatures here, the YMCA is holding shades of green activities throughout the month of April, including special events on Earth Day, April 22nd. And in today's Sandwich Generation, we are looking at ways that aging adults can embrace spring activities and nature to enhance their well-being. Here to help us talk about that is Jennifer Mank. You are the YMCA Senior Director of Health and Well-Being. And Julie Mickelson, also with the Y. Thank you for being here Thank today. You. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, so, so many great activities. Yes. You've been talking to us about the shades of green. What are local Ys doing to celebrate? Yeah, well, spring is abounding, which is so wonderful. And the y, the y has our doors wide open, not only for the health and fitness, but also that social connectedness and that sense of community that comes with our activities. So Earth Day is next Monday, and we're doing some special activities at every Y where we'll be planting succulents or learning to build a birdhouse, or even about the community gardens, which you mentioned. And how can people participate in yeah. these activities? Well, we have, a, it's open, to the, uh, open for anyone to come and try. So there's different times that we'll be offering them, all found on our website mm -hmm. for each Y. And there'll be some uh, special speakers and things to learn about uh, how to recycle, about pollinating, or all these uh, healthy and Mother Earth type things. And Julie, you're joining us from the Egan Y, is I that am. right? Mm -hmm. And not only do you run some of the over 55 activities, you are also responsible for the garden, the community right. garden. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we have had a community garden at the Egan Y since 2012, and it's a wonderful opportunity for our kids um, in our programs and also our volunteers to kind of get um, a handle on the science of gardening from planting to uh, growing to tending to harvesting we do donate all of our harvest mm -hmm. to uh, this pasture was to a local women's shelter and then to um, other food shelf organization that um, support food shelves one of the things we're doing that's really important at the egan y is we are kind of getting rid of some of the barriers that some people have with gardening mm -hmm. by right. including in our community garden this year some elevated garden beds. Wow. So not just for our forever well population, but also for people with mobility issues makes that uh, gardening now um, something that they can do. So okay. rewarding. Gar yes. You know, there's, yeah. I love gardening because there's yes. that instant gratification Absolutely. of seeing something that you created. Yes. So another thing, Jennifer, the Y offers is camps. And, and yes. these aren't just for kids. These are for people of all ages. It really is. And camp is fun for everybody. And we're so excited because next month we'll be going to Camp St. Croix in Hudson, Wisconsin. And we do Forever Well Camp. So this is where our 55 and up population can enjoy all the things at camp. Horseback riding, archery, uh, the big swing, campfire songs, and even zip lining, wow. which is a thrill at any age, right? Yeah. At any age, yeah. brave yeah. folks. Exactly. And, and do you find that people learn new things about themselves and the oh, things that they yes. enjoy, even at 55, 60 or mm -hmm. older? They really do. I mean, the sky's the limit. And to be playful again and to just feel like you can enjoy things that maybe you did as a youth or mm -hmm. that you're doing for the first time, I think it's all exciting. Fantastic for every age. Thank you yeah, for being here with course. us today, Julie and Jennifer, both from the yes. Y. I appreciate Thank you for it. Having us. Thank you. We'll have more information on what the Y has to offer on our website, and we'll be right back with a full breakdown.